Okay. Sims 2 soundtrack. Wait, I'm playing the wrong part of it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Sims 2 soundtrack. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play some 100 baby challenge today, I think. Do you know what? This morning when I woke up, I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> I had this like, why, why would I decide that the first thing I want to do in the morning is raise all these infants? <laughs> But I did, that's what I decided to do. So I got off stream after midnight last night, didn't go to bed until two, and then woke up this morning at seven. And now I'm doing this. All I've done is this, <laughs> but hi everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Let me get my game ready to go um, so that we can play. I'm very excited. So I have to stream, um, I just wanted to let you all know, I always stream at this time on Wednesdays, so I'm usually here in the morning on Wednesdays, but uh, I won't be able to stream too much more this week because my friends are coming over. <laughs> Sasha and Steph are gonna be here today, so I can't stream too, too, too much. Um, anyway. <laughs> Good morning though, hello, hello, hello. We can work from home together. Nice, I'm glad, I'm glad. I, I guarantee it, a lot of people that are here right now are gonna be probably working today, this morning. Um, I w dare I say, maybe like half of you. Are <laughs> people, whenever I say that, they're like, yep, that's me, I'm at work right now. <laughs> so, hi everybody. Currently at your desk, nice. You're literally at your job, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let me go load into my save file. Let's get this ready. You're on vacation? Oh, fun! That's exciting. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, how's Dan's foot doing? You know what? I don't know how it's been today. Dan is in the UK now. Um, he flew home last night, landed this morning at like 4 a.m. or something. So Dan is in the UK now, which is good. Um, but anyway, he and Steph both, because Dan flew to the UK yesterday, and Steph is flying here today. <laughs> so they were at the airport at the same time, but you know, passing. <laughs> they didn't see each other, but it's kind of funny how that happens, isn't it? Um, but anyway, my hair looks cute. Well, that's nice of you to say, because I simply um, put it up. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if it's, if it's any worse this morning. I He didn't mention it to me when we were talking this morning, so that maybe is a good sign that it's hopefully a little bit less bad. I don't know. Um, You've never seen it up? Yeah, I don't usually wear it up in videos or streams, but, um... Look, it's hot outside. Looks like it's getting long. Oh, it's not oatmeal. <laughs> it's not. It's still, like, right here. I don't really want to grow it out. I feel uncomfortable when it gets, like, past my shoulders. I don't like it, so... Um... Make sure I rest after my stream today. Actually, um... I won't be doing that, because I've got people coming over. <laughs> Steph and Sasha are gonna be here, so I won't have much time, but that's okay. It'll be fun. I'm excited. I have to go to the airport. I am i don't mean to complain, but I went to the airport yesterday to bring Dan to the airport. I'm gonna go to the airport today to pick up Sasha, and then I'm gonna go to the airport again to pick up Steph. I'm not exaggerating. Three times in 24 hours, I'll be at the airport. That's a little bit much for me. It's a, it's a little extreme. <laughs> the constant back and forth, but like the timing just didn't work out. We tried to book them at the same time, their flights, and it just didn't work out. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. The Orlando airport is stressful. Yeah, it's not, it, I've, I don't know. It's not the least stressful airport I've been to. I don't like driving there and especially not driving there alone. So. It'll be okay though. The third time I go, I'll be with someone. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna drag Sasha to pick up stuff with me, so. You don't love airports? You know what, it's more so the, um, the traffic as I am going to pick people up that I find a little bit um, unpleasant, so. <laughs> Uh, I do the baby count. Yeah, we have, um, look at this. We've had 30 babies. We're pregnant with number 31. Um, I actually have a spreadsheet. I could probably share this with you all. I, uh, I've i still been working on this. I didn't, um, what I'm eventually going to do is add in all of the uh, name suggestions to this spreadsheet too. I haven't done it yet, but this is the spreadsheet of the babies that we've had so far. Um, 
so if you were curious, um, you can see who the who the dad was and what the baby's name was because they were recommended by people from chat. So um, it's kind of fun for that reason. But yeah, we're gonna play a little bit of 100 Baby Challenge this morning. Um, <laughs> why? I don't know. <laughs> but wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, literally, why did I decide to do this? I did this to myself. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, we've had 30 babies, Twitch. We've had 30 babies. Weren't I live eight hours ago? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Well, almost nine. I, I got off stream at like 12.20, a little bit after midnight, and it's it's 9.06. So about nine hours ago, I was live. <laughs> uh, we're hitting all the time zones today. <laughs> You missed five babies? Yeah, I think we had quite a few the last time we played. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much though. None of us know any of these kids' names or anything, so don't don't panic. If you don't know who they are, that's okay. Me neither. <laughs> I honestly I don't think I could tell you a single one of these children's names. Oh no, and this one was born right when I got off stream. Mmm, and I'm pregnant again. Okay, this will be fine. This will be fine. <laughs> um, hey, Rose, Purple Cat, Dinosaur, Sapphire, uh, Florence, CK, and Peaks, Mal, Monty, Prince, um, Julianne, Kaylee, Chrissy, Sweetly, Zigzag, Shannon, Lady, Erin, Miria, Kaylee. Oh my god, how much did I miss? How much have I talked? Uh, whenever I go live, I swear I talk too much about the most garbage, ridiculous things, and then I. Anyway, <laughs> Jay, Nixie, Diamond, Anna, Senna, Happy Birthday, Charlotte, Nana, Laurel, Leah, Birdie, Bree, Mr. Plumbob, who else? Kindle, Nicole, Sparkle, Watery, and Maureen, and Dude, and Amy, and Burbino, and Brindleton Faye. There we go, I'm caught up. I did it. I did it, I did it. Okay, can you take care of this child now? Because we have to start working on it. Some, on its things, you know? Rat check? I think my rat is fine. Yeah, food's full, thing is clean. <laughs> Weather in the UK is ridiculous right now. Is it hot? That is unpleasant, I'm sorry. Um, oh, actually it's the same temperature here as it is where you are. And it's 9.08 a.m. Today's gonna be a rough day. Um, today's gonna be a rough, rough, rough day. High of 95 later. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you know dang well the heat in the UK is different. All right, sure, you guys don't have AC, but 95 degrees in this humidity... It's not different. <laughs> it's not different. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Oh, grades are up. Are you good? Grade school A student. Yes. And a couple B students. Okay, this one can age up into a teen, so that's gonna help. That means we'll have help after school today. Come here. Blow out candles. <laughs> You're used to gray skies and rain? Yeah, I know. Tegan, I don't think anybody gets used to this heat, though. I might have this every day. You don't get used to it. It's unbearable. I went on a walk this morning at 7.15. And it was so hot. I, like, it, you can't, it's, you can't escape it. That early in the morning, it's already that bad. Like, that's just not right. It's not right. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I pressed it twice by accident. I didn't mean to. Okay, Lil Slazy, congratulations. Are you a vampire? Oh, no. Oh, vampire teeth. Good for you. Why is this lagging? Stop. Okay, let's add some birthday candles to this. Oh, I feel a lot better already. You've lived in Florida your whole life, you never get used to it. No, you really don't. <laughs> I don't think it's physically possible to be used to a heat like that. You just can't. Okay. Let's do some tummy time, get that queued up. You're tense, maybe you could like... I don't know what to tell you. Do you wanna play? Do you wanna watch some TV? Do you wanna... Mm, you're tired. <laughs> I need to work on your- Oh no! Lil Slazy is a vampire! Oh, now that we're a teen, our vampire powers have fully manifested? Yikes. That's gonna be unpleasant. <laughs> oh dear. 
Okay, well, looks like you, my friend, have some school projects to work on. <laughs> Maybe I can get your grade up um, tomorrow. That would be good. Evie, Bree, Nikki, Lilac, Una, Victoria, uh, me and Chris and Silly and Bernie. Thank you all so much. Is that Caleb's daughter? Yeah, it is. What if she just happens to go out in the sun? I mean, I could do that. I could do that. When the heat turns the swimming pool into a hot tub. Oh my god, do you want to talk about that? Look at this. Um, okay, this still, still never ceases to amaze me. So I have a pool in my backyard, right? Um, I've never had a pool that's like not under a pool screen and gets direct sun during the day. So like, I didn't really know what to expect with this. Like I, I, when I moved here, I didn't know what the summer was gonna be like for the pool, but my pool is in direct sun all day. This is the temperature that I took a picture of yesterday that the water is. When I touch the water, it's hot. It's like soup. This is how hot the water is. <laughs> and that's just from the sun. Oh my God, it's like a bath water, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it feels too bad when you're actually in it because the outside air is still hotter than this. But like, <laughs> when you touch it, the water feels hot, which is so shocking to me. I feel like even a heated pool doesn't feel that hot to me. And I think, I don't know what temperature people heat their pools to. I, I don't have a pool heater or anything, but it's hot. How warm is that in Celsius? Well, you're in luck. It's in both. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. Giant, giant outdoor bathtub. No, this is 90 Fahrenheit. It's like, what, 32, 33 Celsius? So, chuck a couple ice cubes in. Yeah, that'll help. <laughs> Would a screen help? I don't, I don't think so. It's not a problem. I don't, like, I'm not complaining about it. Um, the people, people don't put pool screens to, like, have shade. Pool screens are mesh, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm just comparing it to, like, my parents' house, their house has a pool screen. It's kind of like a net around the backyard. You'll see a lot of that in Florida. Um, and uh, their house, like their backyard is shaded pretty much all day. So the pool gets, I guess, warm in the summertime. I don't, I don't know, but I've never seen a thing like this before. I'm sure it's very common, just not in my personal experience, so. Uh, but yeah, I don't think the screen is gonna help with the temperature of the pool. The reason people do it is because it helps keep like leaves out of the pool and also bugs out and stuff. Um, the kind of thing that I'm talking about, let me show you a picture. People have stuff like, um, like this. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. <laughs> it's really ugly. Um, but yeah. Frog's still gonna do yours. Oh yeah, I, my parents' pool screen still has all kinds of things in it. Um, my parents keep um, like the panel out from here though. So it's like not really a door. It's kind of just open so the dogs can come and go freely. Um, when they open the, because they could open the sliding glass door and then let the dogs out from like back here basically without having to come all the way out here and open the screen door too. So my parents, I mean, it's open so things can get in, but there's like, if there's leaves that fall, not from this yard, there's no trees around here, is there? But then it would prevent it from getting in there, so. Not very cute, but they are effective, so. You think the cover is cute? You think this is cute? I think pool screens are so ugly. So ugly. Whenever I talk about this, people get so confused too. They think that it's glass. This is not glass, it's, it's like a net. So it's not, um, it's not like that. <laughs> It's not like that. Um, you've seen worse looking things. I don't like them. <laughs> I think they're a little bit ugly. <laughs> I think they are li a little bit ugly. They're like these giant things on the back of people's houses. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of them. <laughs> Can you paint the net? Like, would you... I mean, you wouldn't put paint on this part, would you? Because then it would make it opaque. I guess you could change the color of the metal. But they're, this is really tall, so... I don't know. Um, have I built one of The Sims? Yeah, I built one of The Sims when we got the, uh, 
the greenhouse kit. So, you don't think it's ugly, you think it's neutral? Yeah, I guess I can see that. Uh, to me, it's kind of neutral because, I, like, so many people have these. Like, this is so common. If you drive around a neighborhood in Florida, the, like, I bet, like, half of them in a lot of places will have this sort of thing. Um, so, I have a screened-in porch, too, but mine's not like this. Mine, you see how these, there's, like, openings here? This is just a random house, by the way, not my house. I just googled pool screen. Um, but I have, like, essentially, mine's not arches, but there's, like, screens in these openings, basically. I have, like, a covered patio, and there's a screen just on that wall, so. Anyway, do my parents' dogs like to swim? Do you know what's interesting about that, Em? They don't really swim in the pool. They step, my parents' house, there's like um, stairs into the pool and they like to stand on the first step, but they don't swim like with their feet in the water basically, but they won't, um, they won't swim in it. One of them likes to swim more than the other two. The other two aren't really swimmers, so. It's kind of funny how different they are. Are they permanent, these screens? Yeah. Yeah, my parents about the same, like when the house was built, they put the big net in. And sometimes like um, the, so like the metal cage part is permanent, but sometimes like the screen might rip or something. Like um, you might have problems in the hurricanes with like the screens ripping um, and like the wind blowing them out. So you would just replace the mesh part and the cage stays there if you have problems like that. Cause then you could just replace like one panel, you know? If like this part got broken, you could replace just this part of the screen because it's just a screen. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway, that, welcome to Florida, I guess. <laughs> Yours hates bath time, but he tried to get into the water when he was at the beach. I wonder if he'd like pools. Interesting. Yeah, my parents' dogs have been to like, um, like a lake sort of thing, and they like to go in the water at the lake. They've also been to a beach beach, like at the ocean, a dog beach there, and they were all so scared of the waves. It was kind of cute, it made me feel bad, because they would like want to walk along the water, you know, and then a wave would come and they would freak out and run closer into the sand. <laughs> but they had so much fun running around on the beach, they just didn't like the, um, the waves. <laughs> Which I can see, a beach is scary. For, for a person who's never seen a beach and doesn't know what a beach is, like the dogs, a beach is scary. I get it. That would freak me out too. <laughs> Cause like it never ends and there's just this water coming like that. Yeah. Your dog also loves the water but is disturbed by the waves. Yeah, water's not supposed to move like that. That's unnatural for them. <laughs> so you hate the sea? Oh, I, yeah. I, I'll put my feet in the water at the beach. I won't swim, though. I won't swim. Oh, yeah, and they're shorter, so they're closer to the water, so the waves feel even bigger to them, you know? Like, a small wave is up to their eyes, right? That's, that's scary. <laughs> that's really scary. <laughs> anyway, I need to unpause the game. I need to actually focus. <laughs> oh, Drizzle and Shay, sell it, baby. I'm a angry uh, chicken rumor, Lonnie, Alpha, silly. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Where you are, the water's so cold you don't go near it? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I'm scared and I'm a six foot lady. That's the thing. Oceans are weird. Oceans are scary though. You're, you're valid for that. Your avocado wasn't yummy. Oh, was it a bad one? I'm sorry. That stinks. How are you doing? Terribly. Okay, I'll work on that when you sleep. The beach is simply for sitting? No, no. I don't sit on the beach either. I'm not a spend the day at the beach kind of person. I'm a go to the beach, walk by the water for a second because it's less hot in the water, at least if your feet are in it, and then leave. Like, you will not, you will not see me relaxing on the beach all day. No way. The sand, it burns. The sun burns, everything burns. It's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> Do you not like the hot weather? No! <laughs> Are you kidding? Have you been to a beach in the summertime where the sand is so hot, it's like actually gonna burn your feet? And you're like trying to walk from the, you know, wherever you got there, the parking lot, the path or whatever, through the sand, and the sand is so hot, your like feet are gonna fall off? Horrible, it burns. 
It burns. It's the worst. <laughs> you live in the wrong state. It's not like the hot weather. It's not my fault I live here, Queen Scott. I got brought here when I was five. <laughs> this happened to me. I didn't pick it. I agree, though. I didn't deserve this. <laughs> I am so with you. Okay, do you want to come work carefully on these projects, kids? Oh, you kind of smell. Maybe you could take a shower. Not a bath, a shower. Take a shower. Barefoot beach in Florida was really nice when you were last there. Well, it depends. There are definitely times of the day where the the sand is less hot and like times of the year where it's it's not as bad, obviously, but oh my goodness. If you were to go to the beach today. Burns everywhere. Horrible. <laughs> the sand is unbearable in like every way. Yeah, not good, not good. You're from Brazil, so happy to wear a hoodie again? Oh. As soon as it start, starts finally getting nice out, life is good. Life is good. The sun burns my heart and the sand hurts my feelings. There you go. Yeah, that's the thing. I think no matter where you are, when the sand is in the hot sun all day, it's gonna get hot, like really bad and burny, but oh my goodness. When it's in like that hot of sun all day, Horrible. Unnatural. Over 102 degrees in Texas next week. Why is my voice doing this? <clears throat> Sorry. I haven't spoken at all today until I went live. <laughs> I've been- I've been alone, so I've just been sitting here silent. <laughs> so. Or when the sand gets in your shoes. I know. Horrible. Horrible. Or, you know, when you're like, if you try and wear flip-flops to the beach, and you're like flip-flopping around in the sand, like the flip-flops are kicking up sand all over your legs. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like the sand. I do not like the sand. Horrible. Okay, mental level eight. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Okay, tummy time together, please. Thank you. I'm an avid sand hater. It gets everywhere. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what else? Here, where I live, the... Like, the dirt in the ground is sand. Like, if I wanted to go plant something in my backyard and I dug up a hole to plant it in the backyard, it's, it's like, dirty sand. Like, a mixture of sand and, and, like, actual dirt. There's just sand everywhere. Outside is all sand. Everything's sand. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Okay. Anyway. Let's game. You've been doing your finals in this heat? Oh, no. Oh no. You don't mind the sand? You are a brave person, actually. Good for you. I mean that, truly. Everything I've learned against Florida has been against my will. Yeah. Yeah. It's embarrassing to be from here. Your dirt is red clay, really? It's so interesting how different the landscape is in different places, isn't it? But... Yeah, sand's kind of an ick. Why are you up? I keep trying to send you to bed. Maybe you're waking up because your sibling is crying. I don't know. I don't know. What are you gonna do when Florida sinks? I mean, Nikki, I'm hoping that me here in Central Florida, I'll be good for a while. Or dead. So, should be all right. I'm, I'm right in the middle, so. <laughs> Hygiene is at zero. Yeah, I don't want to bathe her though. I got too much going on. <laughs> okay, you keep working on this. I can't believe my Sim's a vampire. You actually have to get your grade up tomorrow. It's actually genuinely urgent that you get your grade up tomorrow. I'm serious. Caleb is dead. Oh yeah, all of the dads are dead. I killed them all. And keep in my basement. So, wait, yeah, he's right here. <laughs> Considering getting yourself some ice cream? Tilly, you absolutely should do that. No questions asked, 100% you should get some ice cream. All right, kid, how are you doing? You would probably like to be fed now that I think about it. Um, 
Baby care, bottle feed. The basement screams, do you want to see my graves? <laughs> Every single save file I play in, I'm like this, aren't I? It's kind of embarrassing. You live across the street from a Dairy Queen? Ooh, wait. Oh, am I feeding the wrong- wait, I had the wrong sim come feed him. Oops. That's also embarrassing. Okay, well. Well, can you put onion down, please? Alright, kid, I'm gonna make you look at some toys a little bit longer. Makes my life easier. You can come watch some TV. Uh, you are miserable. Scratchy from illness and everything. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> it's not even late. Like, how am I I'm so exhausted? Okay, well. How much did I raise for St. Jude this year? Do you know what? In, um, in May, in total, we raised $516,000. I forget the exact number. It was like, because uh, people donate when I'm offline sometimes. But uh, it was like 516000 almost even. That's how much we raised, which is so unbelievable. I cannot wrap my head around that at all. Um, okay. Your fun is fixed. Your vampire thirst is getting a little low. And you're tired. Oh no. Hopefully I can get her aged up, because I don't really want to have a vampire in my house anymore. I sort of reject that. <laughs> I've only had a vampire for one day, and I already don't want it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, 512 when we first finished, but the number right now is a little bit higher, which is pretty cool. Alright. You're still working on that. You're working on that. Can you come take care of the clean habitat? Okay. Okay, who's the vampire? Oh, the teen is. Her dad was Caleb. Um, so she is a vampire, unfortunately. But I'll hopefully get, uh, get rid of her soon. Oh, you're tired. Sorry, kid. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Forgot about you. I do have a child. That's correct. Okay. Come on. No, no, no. Feed the- No, 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 no. Don't sleep there. Not your bed. Oh my god. Go to bed. You go to bed. Okay. This challenge scares me. Baby counter? Yeah, it's up in the top left corner. We've had 30. We have had 30. Hi, Miv. Hi, Miv. Can you go back to sleep, please? What are you picking that one up for? What are you doing? Stop. Oh, the kid's asleep. Okay, well. I'll bathe them in the morning. I'll bathe him in the morning. It's fine. As soon as you finish this, you can go to sleep too. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. What are you doing? Put the kid down. And my sim's uncomfortable. Why? Why do you have to be a vampire? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to drink from someone's blood, aren't I? Need to feed becomes parched in eight hours. Do you think I can drink my mom's blood? Maybe? I suppose that could work. Did I stream yesterday? Yeah, I streamed at night though, Mork. I streamed um, at like 8.30 last night instead of 4 when I usually stream. Because I didn't have time. I had to take Dan to the airport last night, so. Ask first? Yeah, you can ask. I could also get some plasma packs, but I don't really want to spend money on it. <laughs> don't really want to spend any money. Um, purchase... How do I buy my plasma? Help. Where's Dan going? Oh, he went to uh, see his family and friends. He's going to a bachelor party this weekend. Um, so he's in the UK again. Uh, I never play with vampires. Oh yeah, we couldn't drink from pregnant sims anyway. Is it under va Vampire Secrets and not under Order? Am I being so silly, Vampire Secrets? No. Hmm. You 
got to study the skill first. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm going to age her up today. <laughs> There's no point working on the skill. She's going to age up. I'm not going to read any vampire tomes. See, I have to drink someone's blood. I told you. I told you. I'll find someone on the street. I'll drink their blood. How about that? I think she could probably just tough it out, too, to be honest. I'm sure she'll be fine. Go get some plasma fruit from, Vlad, from Vlad's house. Here's the thing, you guys. I'm, I'm really not that worried about leaving the house to prepare for any of this. Because I'm serious when I say she's gonna age up after school today. Like, she'll probably- if I work hard at school, we can probably get an A. And then she'll be gone. No, silly. So you age- you age the kids up and move them out. That's how the challenge works. You obviously can't have a hundred sims in your house at a time. So the way the challenge works is you have the baby, and your goal is to try and raise it as fast as possible. So there's rules for each age group. You have to get a certain number of milestones for the baby, a certain number of skills for a toddler, and then get an A in school as a child and as a teen. And as soon as you have an A in school as a teen, you can age them up and move them out. That's how it works. Um, so we have, uh, we only ever have eight sims in our house at a time, um, and we're slowly trying to kick people out. It's kind of part of the challenge also, um, where like, you could only have that many sims, so you can't get pregnant again until you get rid of the other ones, you know? So it's sort of a, it's sort of a challenge aspect of like, trying to be as fast as possible. <laughs> um, so, what about infants? That's what I meant, the, the infants have to have the milestones. Did I say babies, maybe? Um, yeah, you have to get the milestones for the infants, so. Our- the mom is gonna be a young adult- or an adult, sorry, in three days. That's the fun part of the baby challenge, too, is that, um, when you're pregnant, they don't age, so you can try and keep them pregnant 24-7, and then they'll live longer, basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how it works. Um, obviously there are mods, I saw someone say this, but obviously there are mods to have, um, more than eight sims in your house. I have MC commands that are max household size at like 25 right now, but, um, that's not the point of the challenge. Like, the challenge isn't to have a hundred sims, the challenge is to successfully raise a hundred kids, you know? Not to have that many at a time. That's a different sort of vibe. So, anyway. If you don't have growing together, there's base game rules, Purple Planet, I think that have to do with finding high chair foods, the, the, um, the babies like. So, anyway, what are we doing? We're doing some 100 baby right now, actually, unfortunately. <laughs> we are doing some 100 baby challenge. Alright, go take a shower. Maybe I can try and invite someone over. Oh, how about this? I could probably start a gathering, and I could drink the blood of my sibling. That would be good. Okay. Can we see upstairs? It's not anything special. It's really not at all. <laughs> We've still been working on it. We haven't finished yet. Um, okay. Okay. Grab a serving. No, there's not anything going on up there, really. No need to worry about that. All right, feed that. Maybe get yourself some food. Very, very good. Okay. When the mom becomes an elder is at the end of the challenge. No, no. Um, usually you have to have more than one person be the mom, like over the years, to have the full hundred. It's possible to do with just one sim, but I don't think most people do. Um, and you would just continue on with one of their kids. So like if she died today, I'd probably end up using this sim as the next person. Does that make sense? You would just keep going. You'd pick someone to be the next heir, almost. Like a legacy challenge, but it's the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> um, okay. Is it bad you've never had a cow plant or even encountered one? You never saw the appeal? I mean, they're kind of weird. So, I don't think that's bad. Everyone's entitled to their own, um, preferences there. Okay, I would like to... Ask for permission to drink. This is why we have siblings, so that I can drink their blood. Thoughts? Sure? Oh, good! First blowout milestone unlocked. Okay, less good. Less good, less good! Um... Get fed by... 
And then we'll get a bath from... Are you gonna feed the kid? Oh my god. Oh, here we go, look. Drinking blood! Come on. No, drink the Sim's blood! I can't click on her. Come on! Compel for a small drink, how about that? I'll use my magic powers. Easy! Okay, how are the kids doing? You're fine, you're fine. You're fine now. You need to eat. Okay, grab a serving. Maybe you could grab a serving. Oh, you are eating, okay, you're good. No, the vampires, so these sims that are vampires, when they're kids, it, they're totally normal. Um, they sort of, uh, they don't have vampire powers until they're a teen. So, hopefully that makes sense. They don't have any vampire traits, because they can't do any of the, like, vampire-y stuff until they're teens, so. Okay, I need to do one more fine motor one and one more first milestone, and then I can age the baby up. So I'm gonna get a bath after I finish eating. And then I'll have it play and then we can age it up. Not sure why the Sims make a cold teen plus, it's so sad. Do you know what, I um, I agree, it kinda is sad that they don't have a lot of major features for, for the little ones, but I guess I understand why they would prioritize making a deeper adult experience over like kid stuff because they're not kids for very long, whereas, like, vampires are immortal, so they're gonna be an adult forever, you know? Um, so I, I can see why they would prioritize the adult stuff, plus the adults can just do more anyway in this game, you know? Okay, time for school, everybody. Have a good day. I will see you later. Hopefully you can get an A. Don't want your toddler to drink plasma. That's the thing, like, toddlers definitely couldn't do. If they were gonna have any, like, little features for, for vampires as, like, little kids, I would expect maybe, like, you know, maybe a couple, like, slight interactions for the most part, you know? Like, probably nothing huge. Um, anyway. Do you want to get a bath from your sibling? <laughs> How about that? You can get carried over here. You're gonna need a bath, too. Oh my god, the sims are all a mess. Did you even finish eating? Yeah, like if the infants were hissing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, vampire kids can go in the sun. They won't die in the sun, either. Only the teens and above can die in the sun. They don't- they really don't have, like, any vampire traits, like I said, until they become a teen. So. Okay, you can play with your toys, and then I can hopefully age you up. You can clean up some of these things. Is there any food in the fridge? Okay, good, there is. Stinky plate on the deck? Where? I'm sure there's stinky plates everywhere. I'm not really that worried about it. <laughs> we have, um, we hired a maid, too, to come help clean, so they'll probably find it. Which will be good. Alright, kid. You're a bit smelly and your attention is low. You've got communication level 3. You- Oh, that one. Oh, that's a diaper, actually. There you go. That would be a smelly diaper. The infant's fun bar is gray because they can't have fun until they've unlocked a couple certain milestones so they can move around and stuff. Um, before that, they, they don't have the ability to gain it or do anything fun at all, so they don't have a fun need. I can age that one up! Yes. Okay. So with the infants, I've been playing with, um, trying to get two milestones in each category. Just not the life one, because that one doesn't matter. Like, being bored doesn't really bother me. These, like, social ones and the, like, the fine motor or the gross motor, you have to actually do stuff to get them. So I've been trying to get two milestones in all of those categories in order to age the babies up. Help blow out candles. Onion. Okay, good. Better. Better. Being born, good milestone. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. What are you doing? Can you not age the kid up? Come here. 
Candles help, come on. Are you both playing? You don't need to get your imagination, you need to get communication, actually. Here, come talk to this. How about that? Okay. Okay. Does Sims food make you hungry sometimes? Do you know what? I would I would say no. A lot of times the food in this game is like... I, I would say uh, maybe a little bit nasty seeming. <laughs> oh, okay. Onion is gonna be fussy. Why do all of my Sims keep aging up with the fussy trait? Hey, Thea, Internet, Miss Bookworm, Girl, and Sam. Listen, thank you for the subs, everybody. Onion? Oh, all the babies' names were suggested by chat. Or, well, not by chat. I should say by, like, people who have donated to our St. Jude fundraiser last month. Um, let me show you guys this. So, I have- I'm gonna, uh, make this, like, something that I can share publicly, by the way. I just haven't set it up yet. I need to, like, go through it first before I do that and get it on a better spreadsheet. But I have, um, I have this. And it's got a very long list. Every single one of these names was suggested by somebody who donated $25 to St. Jude. Every single one of them. <laughs> um, so we've been randomizing, when we named the babies, um, we've been randomizing them off of this list. So I'll like do a random number generator and then name the baby that. There's kind of a long um, and very wide variety of things. Um, there's some really nice ones, like this one's in honor of a person called Kelsey. Um, and then there's soy milk. So, there's a, uh, there's a lot of variety here <laughs> on the spreadsheet of name suggestions. And I've not been picking them, we've been using a random number generator, so. Uh, we've ended up with some rather chaotic names, I think. <laughs> Oh, we have a crown because there's a club meeting happening. That's why. Sorry, that's probably confusing. Um, but yeah, there's there's quite a few interesting ones. Hello, little one. Would you like to maybe go... I can allow you to play inside like three times and then go to sleep. You're talking to this. Getting your skill up. You're getting your movement skill. You're working on your imagination skill right now. That's fine. Um, how do you fill out the form to receive the St. Jude Sim stuff if you haven't received the email? Lainey, um, we actually posted the CC publicly at the end of the month. Um, so you don't need to fill out the form anymore. You can just get it. <laughs> um, you can just get the CC now because we posted it publicly at the end of the month after the last day of our fundraiser. Um, let me see if I can maybe... Um, I haven't... I put it in the Discord. Maybe I could put it on... Hold on. I can put a link in the chat, just give me two seconds. Um, but yeah, we posted that CC publicly after the end of the fundraiser. So you should have gotten an email from me if you never did. Um, maybe you either gave me the wrong email address or maybe you um, didn't fill out the form or anything like that. But uh, I can get you... Here, this is the St. Jude CC. Um, but it's also in the Discord server, so hopefully that helps. <laughs> It's in the announcements channel. If you scroll up a tiny bit, you'll see it in my Discord. Okay. Um, you don't have to do this for too much longer, actually, which is pretty good. You're getting a little bit tired, which is not very good. The house is on the gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um, it, the game thinks that it has CC, though, because, um... Because I have a bunch of pictures and graves in my basement. It doesn't actually have CC, but... Anyway, can we get a bath, maybe? Bath time. What are you doing? You haven't finished your communication skill yet. Get back to work. Okay. I'm stressed. Abby, my sim's on the gallery already. She has been for a long time. I posted her probably, like, over a month ago on the gallery, so... All is well. Get a link to my Discord? Yeah, it's just right here. Easy, easy. Discord.gg forward slash Lil Simsy. <laughs> okay, bathing the kid. Everything seems to be fine. You're playing and exhausted. That's also fine. You can do your movement skill after you finish this. 
Oh my. How many graves are in the basement? Oh, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> One or two for all the baby daddies we've had. I had to kill a couple of them twice because um, we had some glitch problems. So. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. For once you win. Okay, Tilly, there's no need to be rude. There's no need to brag. Alright, get sliding, kid. Get to work. Um, you are pregnant. Third trimester in seven hours. Maybe now is a good time for us to call up whoever the next baby daddy is going to be. And then... Should we do Christopher? That could work. And then I could start romancing him. So we'll be ready. No, they didn't all die the same way. They died in various ways that I just used MC Command Center to kill them quickly so I could put them in the basement. <laughs> the way they died um, matters less than the fact that they died, you know? Movement two, we're almost there. Um, did I build the house as I go or did I build it at the start of the challenge? No, Scotland, I built a starter home at the start of the challenge. We didn't have enough money to have a house like this. And then I built a bigger version once I had some more money, and then I built a bigger version once I had some more money, and then I've just been adding to this version over time. Kind of as we're uh, earning more and more, you know? Uh, but this is way, way bigger than I could afford when I first started when we only had a starter home. We had to do a lot of painting to fix this. <laughs> Lots and lots of painting going on around here. Did my romancing work on you? Do you want a date? Yes. Okay. Kiss hands? Basically, because I'm going to give birth um, tomorrow, my idea is that if we've got him like already romanced and just ready to woohoo, we can get pregnant again the second the baby is born. I want to be pregnant at all times. That's the goal because she doesn't age when she's pregnant. So if we can stay pregnant, life is good. <laughs> Raven, girly, Mimi, thank you for the subs. All right. Physical intimacy. Do you want to kiss? Cameron, leave me alone. I'll take a selfie with you for my basement too. How many kids do I have? I've got 30, and we're pregnant with number 31 right now. So, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Not too many yet. We're getting there. Okay, Christopher, I'm really sorry about this. Use the toddler tablet? You know what, Anne? Actually, I found that... Um, what I've been doing with like those items that I've been using instead of the toddler tablet is actually a little bit more effective in my experience. Um, all right, so this will be Christopher. This one is the father of baby 31. Christopher is gonna be the father of baby 32 eventually. Okay, I'll just, you can leave now. I'm ready for you tomorrow. Thank you, bye iPad kids. <laughs> yeah, I put the picture down before I even got to it. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, I can age this kid up now. Are you ready to age up too? No, not quite. Almost. Oh my goodness. That's such a relief. Okay. Let's get these babies aged up. So I've been playing where they have to get level three in three skills to age up. So we just finished that. Grade school A student. Yes. Oh my goodness. We can age up like everybody today. <laughs> okay. So I can age up the vampire. She can move out. These two can become teens. And then we got these two becoming kids. Oh, thank God. That's going to be excellent. Absolutely excellent. All right. Yes. Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> Time to age up. Can you add some birthday candles to this, please? Lil aged up and is a genius. Good for you. Um, I need to age up. Are you ready yet? Yeah, you've got your level three. Candles help. Let's go. Congratulations, my friend. Would you like to use the bathroom and then get some food? 
Yes. And then after that, you could probably work on a school project. I actually have like none left. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> we use these up fast. I made like a whole school project room. <laughs> And I need it, clearly, because they look at how fast they use them all. Hey, Curebird, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. We've got a system at this point. Everything is fine. Well, how has your day been so far today, then, chat? How are, how are you all feeling? Good, maybe? Um, okay, I'm gonna send you to work on this once you're done. Getting ready. Tired, go back from the gym. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're tired. That stinks. Thought they were toddler potties? No. No, a little bigger than that. Alright. Congratulations, Princess! Princess Peach is this one's name. You need to get yourself some food, too. Alright, I will age up. You also got an A in school. So do you see what I'm doing? As soon as they have an A in school, I'm aging them up, like, as fast as we can so we can get rid of them. You're overwhelmed? I'm sorry, Christine. I hope things get a little bit easier. Who are you? I've never seen that person before in my life. This is Meatwall, who's just oh. aged up. Named after the thing from Eco Lifestyle. Um, scary, to be honest. You blow out the candles too, okay? Um, your fun's a little low. How about you channel surf and then work on a project? All right. Are you, you just aged up. This one's next. How did you get down there? What the heck? You have to be teleported in there because it's locked. How did, she, how did she get down there? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Vegetarian and romantic. Interesting. Quick, add some more birthday candles! Alright, last sim, the vampire, Lil Slazy, can finally age up and move out. Yes! Okay, I feel really good about that, actually. Let me get some birthday candles back on that, and then I'll kick you out of the house. Okay. Everybody aged up today. <laughs> it's funny when there's like that much going on. Like everybody is aging up all at once. You like their name? Yeah, I thought they were cute. It scared me how they were a vampire. I was a little bit nervous about um, having to deal with them. Oh, you're in luck. There's one space left in your sibling's house. Good. Bye. See you later. So I've been moving all of these my babies out into these like other empty households as they age up <laughs> basically the powers of the iPad kid teleportation there you go they're learning first time in my live stream well hey welcome in you caught us on a rather chaotic day because we're playing the 100 baby challenge <laughs> ah scary 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 we're doing okay though i've got a handle on things All right, you're doing a project. You could probably come do a project. You could do a project. You could come do a project. Let's all do projects. And they only have one toddler. Maybe you could get up and work on your skills too. Play inside. The faster we go, the better. Is this dead? Oh, I killed my plant. What skill do I have the kids work on for school? The teens, I mean? Yeah, so I, I've been having them do these, um, look at this. So you see this kid right now? Um, she's a child, right? She's gaining the mental skill, but she's also gaining the logic skill. So I've been trying to have the kids do a whole bunch of school projects as children. Um, cause they double skill gain. Uh, the logic and the mental, so they're good with mental for school as kids, and then they have logic when they become young adults, or when they become teens, I mean. Um, so I've been having good luck with those, uh, with those school projects and doing that, the volcano one in particular. So, that's what I've been up to. Alright, how pregnant are we? Third trimester in 37 minutes. Alright. That's fine. Okay, you got imagination level 3. 
It's so much easier when you only have the one kid. I'm serious. Lil Slazy has started on the path to stardom? Oh. Okay. Moved out and became famous. Well, I was gonna say, it's so much easier when you don't have twins. You would think... You would think that in, in this challenge, it would be like a good thing to have twins because you want to have 100 babies. But I've actually found that in, in this particular game, especially with infants, having twins is actually a serious problem for a couple reasons. Number one, it's better to be pregnant all the time. And so like constantly be pregnant with one baby and then have space in your household. Um, that works better because then your sim doesn't age so they can stay a young adult for longer. But also when you have twins, it takes like twice as long to get them aged up and stuff because they're so much slower because there's only one of you and two of them. And if you've got triplets, oh my god, it kind of like, like someone in chat says they clog up the system. They kind of do. It's like bad. It, it's not a good thing to have triplets. Um, it doesn't work, so. Anyway, I do have the on, on ley line lot trait right now because I had triplets and um, because of a chat incentive. And so I wanted to have twins after those triplets moved out because I had like one sim in my house, but I don't want to have twins again. Let me check that I'm not having twins actually. Yeah, just one. Good. But yeah, I don't want to have twins. I had the trait on because we had, um, because we had before the empty house, but no, we don't want that. We're going for efficiency, exactly. I might actually get a better toilet over here. I got some money, so I might as well get something fancy. Look at that. Nice. Nice, okay, you're all good. Maybe you could do another painting or something. Oh, that one's actually fine. <sighs> Things are going pretty well. Where are the beds from? Oh, the beds are from, um, the beds are from cats and dogs, these beds right here. Is her hair darker? Is her me? No, my hair's not darker. I guess it's a little bit brighter in here right now, if you haven't seen me streaming in the morning before, and my hair's up, so maybe that's throwing you off, but I didn't change my hair. What's in the basement? Um, this is what's in the basement. So, don't worry about it. <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> Nothing suspicious at all. <laughs> it's just a collection. It's just my collection of all the dads. Okay. Oh, you're painting, cute. Good. I don't think that you're gonna finish this project today. You've got your skill ready. Maybe your mom can help you, to be honest, so you can finish it faster. See if we can get some work done with this. You went to use the bathroom. I guess you could probably shower too while you're over here. How about Victor Fang for next daddy? Oh, actually, I, I already found Christopher and started romancing him a little bit. So I might have Christopher be the next baby daddy because I, I kinda, I kinda started already. Okay, would you like to use the bathroom? You could probably come eat. After you shower, you can go work on your project again. Come on. Assist with project. You went to bed. No, first of all, not your bed. Honestly, these kids aren't gonna get theirs finished. They're too miserable, so <laughs> we can just wait. When did I build this? Um, Dreamy, I don't know exactly what day. Um, at some point throughout our 100 baby streams, we, with the, the thing about these baby challenge things is that it's one of those sort of builds that I built it once, obviously, but when I built it, I didn't have enough money to fully furnish it and then like slowly over the course of like multiple days, I was adding to it. Multiple days in real life, you know, as I would get more money, I would fix the kitchen and then expand the bedroom and you know, all that over time, so. Anyway, uh, kill J. Dot, CC, thank you for the subs, everybody. All right, hopefully with those projects done, both these teens will be able to age up tomorrow. 
That is my goal. All right, would you like to go to sleep too after you finish eating? You know what I need to do is also get some food out of the fridge to put over here. Oh, we're running low on food. Uh-oh. Here, can you get some? <laughs> Let's come buy some. I have this buffet table and I just serve food on it and then keep them around. So that way I don't have to cook. I don't really even need to have a kitchen. Aside from when I need to cook a uh, birthday cake for my sims. But otherwise we don't even really need to have a kitchen. Okay, kids, are you ready for bed? Good. Very, very good. Uh, are you sick still? Still? Oh no, purchase medicine. I guess, I mean, you were sick today. I just, you know, you aged up, so. <laughs> Seems like more time has passed. Can I help you? Is that a vampire? Go away. <sighs> Yikes, oh, she's sleeping in sunglasses. That's cute. Like the colors of the house? Yeah, I like the color scheme in here. I think it's really pretty in the living space. It's kind of fun. I like it too. I'm glad that you do also. What are you doing waking up in the middle of the night to do your homework? Go to bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. These sims are silly. Yeah, we've had enough vampires for a while. I don't really, um... I don't really need to have another vampire anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, it's the first mom from baby number one still. She's had 30, almost 31 kids. She's not even an adult yet. She's only a young adult still. She ages up in three days, but as long as you stay pregnant, you don't age. So my goal is to keep her a young adult for as long as physically possible. So is the cow plant okay? Yeah, I keep doing little cow plant checks. Don't worry, it's not hungry or anything, so. Okay, can I upload the house? I already did owls, I posted it a few days ago. It counts as having CC on the gallery. It doesn't actually have CC, um, but the gallery classifies it as that because I have all my, you know, weird baby challenge things. <laughs> like all my um, photos in my basement. So the rat is dead. No, the rat's still alive. Let me show you. Um. I don't know where in there it is, but it is in there. See, proof of rat. Okay, go back to bed. You didn't finish sleeping. And it's only 3 a.m. Um, would I use age down treats on her? Would I switch to a new mother? I don't know. I think you mean potions of youth and not age down treats. <laughs> <laughs> for a human, but um, I don't think that I would use a potion of youth. I think that I'd probably switch to a new sim just because I find it like it'll be kind of a fun refresh. You're trying to be funny? Oh, okay. It was, I liked the joke. It was funny. Oh yeah. The rat died of old age. We've had a couple rats die, Mari. We keep getting new ones. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> Everyone's asleep. You could probably get up. We can get some food out of the fridge, get some leftovers. How long am I gonna stream for? Do you know what? I can't stream for too long because when I get off stream today, I literally need to go immediately to the airport to pick up Sasha after I end stream. So um, I will not, um, yeah, I won't be here for a long time. <laughs> Today's kind of a weird day. I gotta go. So I wanted to stream before I left, but. Um, that is the plan. Today's your birthday. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. That's exciting. That is very, very exciting. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm just kind of, kind of busy this week. I got some friends coming in town, so. Uh-huh. Drink. Anyway. It will be very, very fun. I am looking forward to it. All right, you finished eating. You're honestly doing, like, so well. I was, oh, that's right. I was gonna have her start working on wellness. I wanted her to do some meditating because I was gonna see about, um, I was gonna see about trying to max the wellness skill so that way we could try and have her teleport. <laughs> okay. We'll work on it. We're not quite high. I've got level one, but slowly. 
slowly but surely we will get there. All right, kids, how are we doing? You probably don't need to do another school project. You can just like take a shower. You can use the bathroom like you wanted to. You can use the bathroom. You could probably watch some TV. Okay. Feed the rat, wasn't it fine? Oh, not fine. We'll need its food bowl filled. I can do that. Need level seven to teleport. I thought we needed level 10. Is it seven only? Because that's better than 10. Um. Okay. This is from Spa Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh, the whole wellness skill is part of Spa Day. It's pretty good. Okay, you fed the rat. Maybe you can eat. You're good. You could probably eat something. Oh, we handled that quite well, I think. Come get some food, too. Okay. Um, you didn't know you could teleport with wellness skill? Yeah, I think it's when you uh, when you max the skill, you, you get the ability to click on the ground and, like, appear there. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I think it's when you max the skill. It's, it's either when you're really high or when you max it. I was pretty sure it was when you max it, but people in chats maybe think less. I don't know. Um... But is there a reason behind no more birthday song? Yeah, Finch, um, to be honest, I started to find it extremely stressful because like it was really hard for me to um, keep up with it. And even when I was trying, if I missed one, I would have people being like, you're ignoring me, I'm gonna cry on my birthday. <laughs> And it made me feel so horrible, so, so, so horrible, because that's obviously not my intention. Like, the chat's just busy, you know, so I'm bound to miss a message. Um, and so uh, it, it was just causing me a lot of stress, and I, I felt like it was maybe causing more pain than, than good, because people were getting upset if they didn't get one, and I, like, that's not the goal, right? Um, the goal is for it to be fun, so... <laughs> um, it was just supposed to be fun. I don't want anybody to have their feelings hurt or anything, so I... Um, stopped doing it. And then I genuinely lost my harmonica when I moved. I don't, it's not lost anymore. At least, I don't think it is. Maybe it is lost again. I found it though, and then I lost it again. But I found it because I put it in, um, when I moved, I clearly was like trying to retire it and I forgot <laughs> because I lost it when I moved. And then the other couple weeks ago, I was looking in my like, memory box thing, like where I have a bunch of, you know, like old tickets and little trinkets from things. And I was looking through it because um, I was going to put my Taylor Swift um, ticket stuff in there. And then I found, I found my harmonica in the memory box. So clearly before I moved, I was ready to retire that thing. <laughs> I thought I lost it, but no, I put it in there. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, I haven't done that in like a year, truly. It's been a long time since we last did those birthday songs, so it's not a big deal, but anyway. You, my friend, can don't rename Blarfy. Go babble at Blarfy. How about that? Babble, babble. Okay. Okay. This will help with your attention, which is good. <laughs> there we go. Go all out. How about that? Honored to have gotten one last year? Yeah. Um. Okay. Sorry, I was texting my dad back. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Can I still play the harmonica for my birthday? I have to find it again. Maybe I... Because here's the thing. I found it and then I put it on the kitchen counter. And now I don't know where it is because I didn't bring it up here. So maybe I put it back in the box. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well, <laughs> Logitech giving you a harmonica. Hey, um, oh, is that worth 8,000? <gasps> oh. Well, yeah, I'd like to sell that. That sounds good. 
Well, I was gonna say that um, we were joking about that because a while ago, um, I was talking on stream about how I didn't have any speakers, right? I only use headphones at my desk. I don't have speakers. And then, oh, I'm in labor. Oh my God. And then Logitech was like, hey, do you want some speakers? <laughs> and then they sent me some. And then I was talking on stream about how, cause I did like a American truck simulator stream. And people kept being like, do you have a wheel? And I was like, no, I don't have a wheel. Of course I don't have a wheel. And then Logitech sent me a wheel. They didn't even ask me or tell me, it just showed up. I got a wheel. So we sometimes we joke like, oh, I don't have a harmonica. <laughs> we'll see if one shows up in a couple days. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't do that Logitech if you're actually here. It's okay, I'll find mine. I'm good. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, let's feed the cow plant and then go um, give birth, shall we? Are you glitched? Come here, feed the cow plant. Have baby at hospital, come on. Come on. Oh my. Send to daycare. Here we go. It's a boy. All right, so we usually randomize the names like I sort of described a few minutes ago. I have that spreadsheet of names that were suggested by people from chat or from the donations, I mean. Um, so I'm going to get my random number generator up. Um, I will put between one, six hundred fifty two and we will learn what the name will be. Number two hundred and twenty five. Oh, we're going way back to the early days. Two, was it 225? Yeah. 225 is Thomas. The baby will be named Thomas. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's pretty good. All right, Thomas, you're lucky. Compared to your siblings, your name is like super normal. <laughs> that was your grandpa's name? Oh, really? That's so nice. That's really nice. Okay, before I age up Thomas, I need to get Christopher over so I can have a baby. This is urgent. I need to, I need to try for a baby with Christopher here. Offer Rose, yeah. And then try for baby with Christopher. Your sworn enemy is named Thomas and the person below you said, your husband's name is Thomas. <laughs> I don't think I know anybody called Thomas. No, I literally have a cousin named Tommy. Never mind. I don't think of him as a Thomas though, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think of him as a Thomas, that's Tommy. <laughs> In my defense, okay. I don't associate the name Thomas with, with him. Okay, are you pregnant? Don't take care of the baby. Find out if you're pregnant first. Come on. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Well, super efficient newborn care. Bottle feed this baby, and then I have to kill Christopher. So, here we go. Age up. Your friend's new baby is called Thomas? Oh, that's really cute. I like that. My my friend's new baby is called Thomas too. See? It's right there. <laughs> grades are up. Oh my goodness. Oh, Leroy didn't get their grades up. I guess you were really tense, huh? So I can age up this one, but I can't age up that one. That's fine. I could use the help, actually. Baby care, age up. Leave me alone. All right, baby count, 31. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. My sim is intense. I'm actually doomed. I'm doomed. That's not good. That's really, 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 really not good, actually. Okay, don't triple speed, hold on, calm down. Let's start by getting this sim aged up. 
I have one birthday cake for you who just got an A in school. Let's go blow out some candles. Um, your fun is so low. Go watch TV. Go watch TV. Your hygiene's low. Go take a shower. Your hygiene's low too, but I'm hoping to age you up in a second, so. Yeah, we've had so many intense and fussy babies. It's terrible. All right, can I get brought over here, please? Thank you. All right, happy birthday! Isn't it always the same? Oh no, we I don't think I've had any intense babies in a while. So it's not a glitch. My sim just aged up evil. I don't, I honestly don't think we've had any intense babies in a while, so. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so we'll kick this sim out and then we'll focus on skills again. Do you know what? Is this the third sim that I've kicked out today? That's like actually pretty good, right? Like, I think we're doing okay. That's not too bad. Um, I think that I've got space in this household with these siblings. So I'll move you into San Myshuno. We're gaming, we're very efficient. See? Everything's fine. Okay, and then, and then, I have to kill Christopher so I can put him in the basement with all the other baby daddies. So, I don't know, Stardew. I, I think the command is running out of space for sure. <laughs> but that's okay, um, because I'm, I have a spreadsheet that we'll start using after that with all the baby name information. All right, you will hopefully get an A in school tomorrow. Oh, you just didn't have enough skills. Oh my goodness. That's embarrassing. You would have gotten an A had you tried harder. Here, do you wanna come play with this? That one's yours. Start that one over. Are you good? Work carefully. All right, kid. I'm gonna see if your mom can help you. We'll do some tummy time. Cue all this up as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, one second. Okay. Wasn't it like 129 babies or so? Yeah, we have to have 124 babies. Um, total because we were doing the 100 baby challenge and then I uh, very foolishly had told chat during my fundraiser that if I raised $500,000 for St. Jude, I would restart. What I did not think was that that would actually happen. So anyway, at the time when we hit 500,000, we had 24 babies. Um, and we decided, um, we decided that we would, instead of starting over completely, we would just try and have 100 more after that. So we have to technically have 124 babies. But we'll, we'll worry about that part once we get there. For now, this is the 100 baby challenge. And we'll just keep going. <laughs> we can't very well call it the 124 baby challenge. There's too many questions involved. All right, my sim is lazy. Hello, would you like to add some birthday candles? So I aged the toddler up because they got level three in all three of their skills, which is pretty good. You can take a shower and then you could probably go to sleep for a little. Is there a new sims update? Yeah, there was a really, really, really tiny bug fix update yesterday. Really, really, really tiny bug fix update yesterday. Um, barely. Um, okay. Um, would you like to put that back? Yeah, the mods didn't even disable after the update. Yeah, it was a really small, super tiny, tiny, tiny bug fix thing. 
Okay, would you like to get some leftovers? Now that you have your reach milestone, you probably could try and get the playing one too. Infants are so stressful. So stressful. <sighs> could do alphabet for the final 24? Yeah, maybe. That's true. Um, did they bring back the photo glitch yet? No, I don't know if they will either. Uh, let me see if I can find you guys the patch notes. It really was not like a a big patch. Um, it's part of their rollout of the gallery servers, and there was a couple bug fixes. Some things for Mac issues, something about a PlayStation and Xbox loop where the game was shutting down. Um, it's literally like gallery fixes, like removing an upload from the gallery will no longer leave it as being in your profile as part of your showcase. So it's, it's like purely gallery stuff happening in that update. Purely gallery uh, stuff happening. Uh, um, which is, I mean, the gallery could use some work, so <laughs> not so bad, but it, the, the patch was nothing useful. It was literally just, just gallery little baby fixes. Okay, let me see if I can find Christopher again, because I need to kill him. And I was distracted. So, we'll start there. Liddy, from what I remember, I think the news tab is going to come back to the gallery. They're just rolling it out slowly. Um, they're rolling it out slowly. I'm pretty sure, but I think it'll come back. But yeah, that was, that was yesterday, so it was only a tiny, tiny update. Um, hello? Christopher, I need to kill you. I'll do it fast. What should I pick? Um... What if I freeze him? Everybody watch, quick. In the middle of summer. Honestly, he's lucky. Yay! Okay, bye! <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> Ad started play? Oh my god, that's such annoying timing. I didn't know they were going to play. That's really bad. In my defense, I had snoozed them twice already. Because of the baby being born, so. Did he cheat on his wife? Oh, he certainly did cheat on his wife, and now he's dead. Cheated on his wife, had a baby, and then died. <laughs> Your laptop died yesterday and you lost two hours of progress? Oh no. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. Don't cry about it. You don't care about him. None of you knew him. You're not sad. Calm down. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Reminder to save. I can't save while the game is uh, doing this. While a sim is dying, you can't save, unfortunately. <laughs> Grab milestone unlocked. Oh, good. I can come do some tummy time with you. Yay! Quit doing that. We'll do tummy time. All right. Goodbye, Christopher. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Go work on your project. Yeah, seriously, Sims dying is such an inconvenience. I hate how they like all, you know, get upset about it. It's really not that deep, like, you need to calm down. Okay, use the bathroom. Maybe you could grab a serving. Oh, sorry, oh my goodness. I'm tired, I, in my defense, I did stream until after midnight last night, stay up until two, and then go live again at nine, so. <laughs> okay, um, here we have my next grave. Um, light all candles. This is Christopher. He was the 32nd baby's father, and he is now in my basement. Why was I up so late? Um, I don't know. I was just feeling kind of anxious, so I was not sleeping. <laughs> I was just feeling a little bit anxious, so I wasn't sleeping very well, but anyway. Can you go away? I don't really want paparazzi in my house. Maybe I'll delete him. Better. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't mean to be a weenie about it, but sincerely, um, not so good at being alone anymore since Dan moved in. I mean, I think a lot of you might be a little bit anxious too if you were in my position. <laughs> but like, um, first of all, it was the first night I spent alone in this house since we moved. But also like, I have a lot of anxiety ever since um, I had those people come to my house. Like the viewers started coming to my house. It really freaked me out. So now I don't like being alone. Um, which I think is justified. <laughs> I think that's reasonable. That happened to me when I was alone and now I don't like being alone. So <laughs> um, I think I think that that is a, uh, a justified response. But anyway, it makes me feel a little bit silly because like I'm an adult person. I should be able to be alone. I used to live alone for like five years and now I'm a baby. <laughs> Um, now I'm just a baby, so, anyway, it's okay. I'll be okay. Maybe you don't do that, though. <laughs> Where's Dan? He's in the UK. He went to his, um, his parents' house, and then he's going to his friend's bachelor party tomorrow. And I'll be alright, because Sasha and Steph are coming today, so. It wasn't on purpose, the timing of this, but actually, it worked out really well. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it actually worked out really well, I, I think, which is good. Um, okay, you need to eat some food. How about that? You don't like being alone either? You've been married for 13 years? Well, once you get you- I mean, once you're used to being with someone else all the time, it is weird to be alone, I think, you know? Um, but anyway, that's why I wanted to stream so late last night. Literally, I was like, what if I just stay live all night? And then I was like, that's really, really dumb. I really shouldn't do that. But I really considered it. I was like, what if I just stay live? <laughs> What if I just sit here and stay alive? <laughs> um, no, I went, I like folded some laundry and stuff and cleaned up a little bit and things. Um, but anyway. Would you like to maybe talk to your siblings? I don't know. Well, yeah, that's the thing, Christine, with me and Dan working from home and also kind of working together because, like, he edits my videos and stuff. We literally are together, like, 24-7. <laughs> Which, well, not during the day so much because I'm here and he's in his room at his desk and stuff, but, like, I don't know. The nighttime is not my favorite, so. Nice being on your own sometimes? Yeah, I like being alone, but not at nighttime, Mari. <laughs> I don't like being by myself at night. <laughs> I don't think you would either if you were in my position. <laughs> um, anyway, oh my gosh, and my cat, Snap, got totally thrown off by me streaming late. Because usually, like, our, our sort of general schedule is I get off stream around 7, um, and then I feed her dinner as soon as I get off stream, right? Well... It comes to be like a few hours after I'm live and she's in here like, hello, are you coming downstairs? And I come downstairs and she's sitting by her food like, hello, <laughs> are you gonna feed me again? No, you're not getting like second dinner at midnight, but she I think was totally thrown off by me like being here and then streaming for a while and then coming downstairs. She also was like begging to go and sit on her patio. And I was like, I'm not letting you out on the patio at 1230 at night. Like, we're not opening the door for you right now. It's dark and scary out there. No way. But I, her schedule got thrown off by me streaming late. She confused herself. <laughs> Your cat yells at you when it's bedtime so you can cuddle. Oh, she was yelling at me too. She wanted me to go to bed so bad. She always does that though. Oh, are you vegetarian? Oh my god, why did you eat meat then, stupid? That was your fault. I don't know why you're acting surprised. Did that to yourself. Oh my goodness. Why do Sims always do that? Why would you autonomously eat meat if you don't eat meat? Oh, you don't need to shower. You just need to use the bathroom and get some food. It's like you don't even try. I have meatless food in the fridge, like... You don't have to eat meat. Okay, you're working on this. Maybe you can finish it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. My dad. I don't know if you guys saw me texting a second ago. My dad. My, my sister 
um, is like begging my dad to reschedule her dentist appointment that is supposed to be today. She, it's been like a, a big drama um, in the family group chat. She's like, please reschedule it. I don't want to go. Please, 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 please. And he's like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So my dad was texting me asking when we're going on our trip uh, at the end of July so he could reschedule it but not schedule while we're gone. And he was like, I'm going to schedule it for July 25th. And I was like, Dad, please don't do that. Like, please, you don't need to be like this. You don't need to schedule it for that day. That's so rude. July 25th is her birthday. I thought he was, like, just saying that because he was mad about having to reschedule it. I thought he was, like, like taunting her. He just texted me, WTF. I knew there was something about that day. <laughs> He didn't reschedule it. He was just saying that. He was like trying to figure out a day that works before we go. <laughs> oh my god. He knows what her birthday is. <laughs> Wait, maybe he did schedule it. He said, Jesus, that's your B day. This is BS. I have to call back now. <laughs> So he realized before she responded. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least she doesn't need to go on her birthday. She should have just gone today, Shanna. Maybe it was supposed to be tomorrow. I don't remember what day it was supposed to be. She should have just gone. I understand the feeling, but now look at what's happened. <laughs> Ugh, my dad is funny. <laughs> See what being petty does? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let me text him back and laugh at him really quickly because I don't know if he's here. That's so funny. <laughs> Dental fear is real. Yeah, Shannon doesn't have a severe fear of the dentist. She just doesn't want to go. I understand that, trust me, but that's not her problem. She just doesn't want to go today because she has plans this week with her friends, so she doesn't want to go. <laughs> it's not- it's not a fear thing. It's, uh, my sister doesn't want to go to the dentist because she doesn't want to, like, reschedule a plan she made with her friends. Which is also valid, but this is a problem. So. <laughs> but I- I very much understand fear of the dentist, trust me. Um, but that's not what's happening here. <laughs> I know my sister, and that's not what's happening here. Okay, but I, sometimes you just don't want to do it, you know? I get it. It's tomorrow is when it's supposed to be. Tell Shanna to go to appointment tomorrow. I'm not- I don't want to get involved in this, Dad. I don't want to get involved in this. This is a- this is not- that's a you problem. That's a you problem. Text her to watch stream? No! <laughs> Maybe you could like bribe her. What if you tell her like, oh, if you go, I'll I'll buy you like. I don't know. What is she like? Maybe she wants like crumble cookies. Dad, how about this? Tell her if she goes, you'll get crumble cookies with her. Cookies are a, a good incentive. That could work. See? No? Why not? <laughs> the perfect after dentist treat. Right, 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 yeah. Um, the, the classic after I go to the dentist, I'm gonna eat a bunch of really, really sugary cookies. <laughs> You're not going to buy her cookies. <sighs> I don't want, I don't want to get involved in this. This is not a me problem. So, don't tell the dentist. <laughs> Yeah, they won't care. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Um. All right. Are you staying up at 1 a.m.? You probably shouldn't do that. Why are you sleeping there? Why would you nap there instead of sleeping in a real bed? Uh. What? What are you guys talking about? Last time I bribed her, we ended up with 20 rabbits. Dad, <laughs> literally, what are you talking about? <laughs> he 
He's, my dad is lying. My dad's a bit of an exaggerator, as you all know. There is no such 20 rabbits. This is a, this is an exaggerator, is who my dad is. <laughs> okay, everyone to bed, everyone to bed. Oh, you're not an exaggerator? You only tell truths? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Sure, dad. <laughs> Known for, for your honesty, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't put the kid to bed. Oops. Bottle feed. Put Thomas here. You could just get some cookies. That's an easy solution. Okay. <laughs> Rizzy, L, Carrie, Jen, Dizzy, thank you for the subs. Whenever I do the baby challenge, I feel so like my brain's moving like a million miles a minute right now. More so, I mean, it feels that way a lot of times when I'm streaming, it's kind of a, a general stream occurrence, but like with the baby challenge especially, there's like so much going on. I don't even know what's happening half the time. <laughs> Already got cookies. What are you saying? My, this is the thing, you guys. You can't take a word my dad says seriously in chat and everything he types is like so cryptic, it doesn't make any sense. Cause he was like, no, not getting cookies. Now he says, already got cookies. What does it mean? What are you saying? Anyway. <laughs> put the kid to bed. There we go. Are you mad about being put down? Oh god. That's like the last thing I need. Can you play some music for the baby? Play lullaby, twinkle twinkle little star. Um, then you can take a shower and then you can go to sleep, yeah? Dad's type in unique ways, truly. <laughs> truly. Ga the baby is also gassy. Okay, good. Quit crying and go to sleep. Quit crying and go to sleep. Quit crying and go to sleep. I think it just farted and woke himself up. Oh, he's good. Okay, we're in bed. Perfect. Perfect. Oreo's gone. <laughs> you finished them all? Okay. <laughs> I told you, they're definitely gone. We did that Oreo thing a while ago though, so I'm not surprised they're gone. You do your homework, kid. You, when you wake up, probably could work on your project so you can get your grade up. You're a genius, you had a eureka moment, okay. Your mom would always tell me, Caroline, your baby is crying when you play the Sims. <laughs> when she could hear it that loud, that she would point it out. That's actually really funny. That's really, really funny. You got lost at Publix? Do you... He's playing up. I met, I said how he types these bizarre things in my chat and now he's playing it up. What happened at Publix? I don't know what he's saying. Allie, I chose not to have bunk beds because the bunk beds are worse. Like, like, um, better for space, but quality of bed. This is energy eight, right? And the bunk beds are like energy four, energy five. So I, I didn't do bunk beds because I wanted to have a better bed. You know what I mean? Because then they have to sleep less with the higher quality beds. So that's why I picked those. Um, I just bought some expensive, like, good quality beds instead. And I think that was worth it. I feel like um, it's pretty good to have the, the better sleep, you know? I don't you like to upgrade furniture? Well, I don't have the handiness skill to do it more, so... <laughs> Um, that would be part of it. <laughs> uh, we need level 8 and level 6, which I don't have, so. Maybe eventually we could, but the, we have a lot of money, so, like, buying a fancy bed is a more effective use of my time, right? And money, because I can just buy it instead of worrying about upgrading it. Um, okay, you have to go to school soon. You can just channel surf in the meantime. Are you helping your brother with the project, or are you just chatting? Either way, it's kind of cute. 
Maybe you could start working on a project again. I want to get them bees. They need to age up. Yeah, I can upgrade these beds to be better, but again, I don't have the, um... I don't need, uh, I don't have the high enough handiness skill. I'm working on it slowly, but we just don't have high enough handiness skill to do it yet. So. Anyway, we don't really even need to that much, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Giant empty room is so smart. It's, Grace, this is so helpful. I literally just fill it with projects. Comes in so handy for this. Okay. Does it make a difference doing multiple school projects? Well, they get bonus um, extra credit, and then they're also building skills from this, right? Um, we're trying to get, like, we're gaining logic and mental skill from this, which helps us with our, our grades getting up. Oh, you're feverish from illness? Oh, no. But the skills, like, working on these now will help us as a teen, because we don't need to do any teenage skills, really, because we'll have that already. So, that's part of it, too. Just do as many projects as we can for as much school stuff and as much uh, skill help as possible. Okay, the baby is apparently awake. The baby also apparently needs a bath. So I can start that. Give Thomas a bubble bath. Okay. Yeah, I used the chemical re reaction volcano project mostly. Even though it's a kid's school project, I even had the teens do it. Because that's the one that they can gain logic as a child and mental as a child, so. Reminder to anyone who's playing The Sims right now to save. Oh my gosh, good call. That's a smart thing to do. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, maybe you could put the baby down on this playmat next and stuff. Oh, wrong play, Matt. Okay. Tell me time together. Okay. Okay. First bath milestone, first bubble bath milestone. So, which ones do I have on this baby? We just need to get um, one more social and one more gross motor, so that's fine. Rat check? I think the rat is fine. Yeah, the rat's all good. We're fine there. All is well. Okay, I feel better. I really think we've got things under control. I fed the cow plant this morning already, so that's fine. Oh my goodness. This game makes me nervous. <laughs> There's so much going on at all times. Just open your game, but you can't decide if you want to build or play Not So Berry. Ooh. Do you have any build ideas? I would build. I'm feeling a little bit build inspired. I think you should build something. Oh, I got them both. Oh, I can age you up. Yes. That was so easy. Look. All good. We got two in every category, except the life one, because I don't bother with the life one. He got one from being born. Like, that's stupid, so. Um, am I still making new crest builds? Yeah, I'm still making new crest builds. Andre, we just kind of slowed down a little bit during my big fundraiser, because um, I spent all of May fundraising for St. Jude, so I was doing some, like, um, more chaotic things on stream than, like, my regular new crest building series. Um, so <laughs> we only did one, I think, in May, but I'm not I'm not gonna stop. I, it's just gonna take me a while because we were so busy with stuff like that, you know? Um, okay, Thomas has aged up. Went from intense to fussy. Great. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, I'm not- I'm not done. We're gonna keep doing it. I just couldn't do as many last month as I, um, normally have been doing, so. Alright, add birthday candles to this. Thomas is gonna get some food. I think almost every single toddler we've had so far has been fussy. At least the ones we've had for the last little bit have all been fussy. Let me sell all these things. This is what I like to call child support. Um, I get gifts in the mail from the family. 
which is a win. Um, actually, 12 of those is so good. 1,200 simoleons. The rat got me all of this stuff. Here you go. Look at that. My little rat has brought me so many postcards. And I have this thing. Should I put it somewhere? Yeah, let's put it on display. Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay. Good appetite and messy eater. Do you know what? Good appetite is fine. Messy eater is not so ideal, but good appetite is good. Better than them having like a, a bad appetite because then they don't eat anything. And they're so hard to find them stuff they want to eat. They have it's it's called picky eater, isn't it? Not bad appetite or whatever. Okay. How much of a mess did you make? Now you, my friend, I would like it if you went and worked on your movement skill quickly. Yeah, there's child support in MC Command Center, like for real child support. But um, I don't need to. Uh, do that. It's more just like a, I um, think it's funny when I get gifts in the mail. I don't actually want child support money. We have like loads of money. I can paint so easily. So I wouldn't do that. I, I feel like I would get too much. Um, Delectable, Lizzie, Apple, who's getting married in 10 days, Renee, Eliza Pancakes, Duel, Daisies, Caleb, thank you all for the subs. Oh my goodness. Why am I streaming so early? Well, I stream at this time every Wednesday, Riley. Um, always on Wednesdays and live at this time, so. We do uh, a morning stream once a week because it's a little bit more time zone friendly for some other places because it can be kind of late when I stream for some people. Um, and also it just works better for my schedule because then I have time after I stream to like work on things, <laughs> you know, <laughs> have dinner with my parents, stuff like that. <laughs> so anyway, on Wednesdays, I usually stream in the morning though. Last night I streamed until midnight and then I went live this morning. So we've had some kind of wacky stream schedules this week. Okay, I'm trying to do some meditating a little bit because I wanted to get the skill up. We're only level three, which isn't too good, but slowly. You're getting married in 10 days too? <gasps> Wedding twins! Oh, that's so fun. Congratulations, both of you. Yeah, and we have um, all of the dads in this save are dead, so they can't give us money in child support anyway. <laughs> yeah, like for example, this person in chat, they're in Southeast Asia, and this is the only time they can catch a stream because... I stream at a terrible time for them usually. Um, I think that's pretty common for a lot of places, obviously, so. High school A student, B student, B student, C student. Okay, I can age you up and kick you out. That is good. One more child ready to be kicked out. And then we've got these kids that I'm gonna have to keep as children all weekend, but we can work on skills some more. So that's fine. Socially awkward. All right, let me get you kicked out. What's this? Oh, it was just delayed with the aging up. Okay. Anyway, getting married on Friday, really? Oh, how exciting. All right, another kid to get rid of. Um, <laughs> one less sim to worry about. I might start a new household, cause that's eight. That's eight. Oh, there's only seven there. Okay, you're in luck. There's space for you in that family. Um, go. All right, next, we're gonna have to make a new household. I don't need to have the Calientes played still. Those aren't my Sims. Those are random Sims. Okay, just waiting in a craft market on Sunday. Oh, that'll be cool. That's exciting. I look forward to that. I, I hope you have a fun time. You're going to a wedding in 10 days? Oh, that's fun too. Dan is going to a wedding in July. I was supposed to go, but I um, decided I was too stressed <laughs> and I didn't want to, <laughs> but that's what, that's where Dan is right now. He's at the bachelor party and visiting his family. Um, well, he's not at the bachelor party today. He's at his grandma's house today. And then he's going to a bachelor party for one of his childhood besties. Um, but I decided I was too stressed out and I didn't want to go. Sorry to dance, friends. Love you, besties, but it's in Italy. Too much, too much, too much, too much. So anyway, that's not yet though. That's a little bit away. Anyway. <laughs> hey, 
Anyway, Dan already flew out. Yeah, Dan went yesterday, actually. Um, so, how long is he gonna be gone? Um, he'll be gone for a little bit. Um, probably until, like, I don't know. Same time my friends are here for, so. I won't be alone, luckily. Um, which will be good. Oh, really, Christine? That stinks. A girl you know is getting married in Italy? Oh, really? That's fun. Yeah, um, Dan's friend who's getting married, uh, they've been friends since they were kids, and he's also marrying a girl from America, which I think is so funny. Like, the chances of them, like, their friend group, half of them, like, <laughs> marrying Americans is, like, I mean, it's not like it's that common to do that, so it's kind of funny, but, um, the two of them met when they were teaching English in China for years. Um, and now they're getting married together um, in Italy, <laughs> which is kind of cool. They're all over the place, aren't they? Um, but I think that's kind of a fun story. She's from Colorado. So anyway, how cute, how cute. But the chances of like two people from their childhood friend group going through this same visa process is like, kind of weird, right? <laughs> like, it's not like it's it's that common, so it's kind of funny how, like, I mean, half of their friends are doing this. Um, Colorado's awesome. Colorado is a nice place. It really is. Um, so, yeah, they're gonna move to the U.S. That's the plan. Um, that is the plan. So. Did you meet your husband that way, too? Really, Kelly? That's so fun! What a cool thing. Yeah, Colorado is a state, yeah. <laughs> Um, Colorado is a state in the U.S. Um, kind of on the other side. So you know how Florida's like in the bottom right? Colorado's like more to the left and it's kind of mountainy over there. So, um, a little bit different from where I'm from. Kind of like the complete opposite. <laughs> Your next door in Utah mountains are awesome. Mountains are so cool. How fun is that? I'm glad that, um, that you get to have mountains like that. How cool. They're a perfect rectangle on a map. Yeah. <laughs> um, your sister got engaged to another teacher that she met in Dubai, and he's from around the corner where you live. No way. So they met abroad, that far away, and he's from, like, right where you live. What are the chances of that? I, lo I love when that kind of thing happens. I believe... I There's, like, some stars aligning kind of stuff going on there, I think. That's fate right there, I would say. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Went to the same school as well. Were they friends when they were young or was it like uh, they didn't really know each other and then they met as adults and realized like, wait a minute, we're from the same place. <laughs> How cool, that's pretty fun. I love, I have a story like that kind of, not really because they didn't know each other at the time, but so my grandma and my grandpa are from Chicago, um, lived in Chicago for ages, went to college in Chicago, met in college in Chicago. Well, they moved to New York for like two years when they were first married for my grandpa's work. Um, and they, two of their kids were, were born there. Um, Hi, Taz! I'm telling a fun story. <laughs> two of my uncles were born in New York and lived there as babies, right? And then moved back to Chicago, grew up in Chicago their whole lives. So they just happened to be born in New York and then lived there when they were like, you know, a few months old or whatever, when they were like one. Well, my grandparents, their friend, unbeknownst to us, also moved to New York at the same time as them. They went to college together. Um, they knew that, they knew him, but they hadn't spoken in a while because it was like an old friend, you know? Um, well, they were also in New York at the time. They also had a baby at the time who was born the day after my uncle. Didn't see each other in the hospital. Had no idea they were there. Born in the same hospital, a day apart. Guess who got married? Those two babies, my uncle and her. They were born like, same place, same time, from the same place, but living in New York. Isn't that bizarre? I think that's kind of a cool story. But, would you look at that? <laughs> How weird, but they were born in the same hospital at the like, same time. And they didn't know until, like, they met when they were older, you know? But, anyway. Invisible string vibes. Yeah, seriously. I love when that kind of thing happens. I think it's such a cute story, so. Your friend has the same birthday as both of her parents? Really? Both of my grandmas have the same birthday. It's different years, but they have the same birthday, March 27th, which I think is kind of cute. 
And do you know what else? My both my grandpas, um, they had known of each other because they they um, were living in Illinois at the time. Well, well, my other one was Iowa, but they both played softball, and there was like something where there was a tournament happening, and they needed like a replacement member for something, and my grandpa like filled in for somebody on this softball event, and they're like from different states. You know, and then their kids ended up getting married. <laughs> but they, like, had heard of each other's names from long ago, even though, like, they didn't really know each other. And then my parents got married, which is really weird. I think that story is so funny. Like, my, my grandpa talks about how he, like, knew Ron and had, like, heard of him before. But, anyway. King's Court? What does that mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you saying? Your grandparents married on the same day a few years apart? Like both sets of grandparents have the same wedding anniversary? Do you know what? That makes it easy for you though. He was one of the best players in the States. Well, there you go. My grandpa was really good. Not like me. I'm not good at anything sport related, but. Apparently my grandpa was. King's Court was a group of three. I literally don't know what you're saying, Dad. I, like, this means nothing to me. Love you and all, but I don't need specifics. I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> Celtic Collector. Um, okay. Your dad's name is Todd, his sister's name is Kelly, and she also married someone named Todd, and he married someone named Kelly? <gasps> that reminds me! Okay, so I have nine cousins, right? Four of my cousins are married. I am not joking. My first three cousins to get married all married someone named Caitlin. We went from having no Caitlins in our family to three Caitlins in our family because all three of my cousins that got married married someone named Caitlin. <laughs> and, and Dan's sister is named Caitlin. So like in the course of a couple years, the number of Caitlyn's that I am related to grew exponen exponentially. <laughs> they all go by different things. One goes by Kate, one goes by Caitlyn, one, one goes by Katie. And that's not just because there's three of them, it's just because they did growing up. They went by different names, but... So funny how they're all named Caitlyn. What are the chances of that? <laughs> but they go by different things. Um, and not just because they have to, because there's three of them, they just did anyway. Um, Third trimester in three hours? Oh my. My- yes, actually, Christine, my cousin Tommy, who I mentioned earlier, is in fact married to a Caitlyn. Yeah. <laughs> he was the second one. <laughs> she goes by Kate, though. So. How funny is that? <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm painting. All the kids are working on stuff. You need to go to sleep. How about that? Um, well, look at the mess you made. Oh my gosh. Should get another daddy. Oh, I should probably go try and meet somebody. You're right. We gotta decide who the next baby daddy's gonna be before it gets too close to the kid being born. Come on. Come on. Just got here, what have you missed? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. A <laughs> bunch of kids moved out or something. <laughs> Vote for Marcus Flex. Did I have kids with him already? I don't remember. Let me see, what traits do I have? I am romantic. Maybe I could find somebody else who's romantic. Hmm. That might be cute. If I could just meet someone from the club, that would be a lot easier. Akira might be an option. This person's in a bear costume. Why are you... Maybe I'll just go with him because he's first. Brent! I didn't even notice him in the clown costume. Oh my goodness. Should I start with Brent? We have amazing compatibility, and he's wearing a clown costume. Akira makes cute babies. Okay, I can start with Akira. Not that it matters. I don't care what the kids look like. 
I don't care what the kids look like. Oh, look, she painted me! Okay. Isn't Brent gay? Well, he- yeah, but... Doesn't stop us. People say things like, oh, isn't so-and-so married? Yeah, and? Just because he's married to a man doesn't mean he doesn't want to have a kid with me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They added sexuality preferences, yeah, but I don't know um, if they went back and changed... the default townies from other packs. I'm not sure if they adjusted that. I could be wrong, but they didn't go back and change any of the old townies anyway, so. Yeah, they didn't change any of the orientations, so. That means he's attracted to women. Ah, Which sure, he sure. very well could be, for real. Even if he's married to a man, doesn't mean anything. He could be attracted to anybody. Anyway, <laughs> it's The Sims, but... I'm just gonna uh, kiss Akira, so that way I'm ready when our baby is born. I don't need to have kids with you yet, but I will. Once this baby is born, so... This guy is from City Living, Jude. He lives in San Mice, you know. I like him. All right, let me sell these extra ones and I'll keep that one. I'll wait for that for later. And then I will send you home, okay? Why are you there? Why do they keep napping in my bed? It doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I feel bad, but I don't know if I'm able to stream for too, too long today, because I do have to leave for the airport really soon to pick up Sasha. So, I think, um, lock the doors. Oh, I won't lock them. I, it'll be annoying for me when I'm trying to woohoo, so I won't bother with that. Um, too much to have to update between, like, doing it for, like, kids specifically or anything, so I, I just won't lock it. It's not a problem, it's just annoying. Um, but yeah, so I, I have to leave for the airport to pick up Sasha soon, so I think I might have the baby, and then... Bail. Since Dan away has friends over. Well, it wasn't on purpose. Dan is going to a bachelor party. He's got his own plans. And then Sasha and Steph were like, oh, I want to go to Disney World. And I was like, do you want to come? You can't come in May because I'm too busy, but June might work. And then it worked out really well. It was just the timing. On purpose. So, anyway, anyway, how long, you are in your third trimester, right? Yeah, give birth any second. What's the naming scheme for the babies? I have basically a huge spreadsheet of names that were suggested by people who donated to my fundraiser. Um, and so uh, people donated to my St. Jude fundraiser and then suggested a name and then I have a big spreadsheet of them and we've been trying to randomize off that list. So I use like a random number generator um, and then pick the name. So I didn't pick them. It's randomly picked after things that people have suggested. And there's kind of a, um, a big, there's a, there's a large variety of names because <laughs> this was like during our fundraiser for Children's Hospital, right? So a lot of people were donating and, and suggesting names in honor of their loved ones. So it was like, this is in honor of my grandmother or in honor of a child they knew um, who maybe was sick and stuff like that. And then there's names like um, Princess Peach, Onion. You know, there's a, a wide variety of options there. It's been quite fun. <laughs> It's quite fun, so. <laughs> um, Sarah, I don't know if we're gonna make any videos while they're here. Um, I don't usually, this might sound weird, but like when, when I hang out with my friends like that, I, it's kind of like, you almost want to like check out and not worry about the internet and just like, um, be in the moment and hang out with your friends, you know, and not spend your limited time on camera and stuff. Does that make sense? So I don't, I don't know if we'll make a video. I guess maybe if we're feeling bored and we have some time, but I, I wasn't planning on it, so. Um, friend time, you know? <laughs> friend time, so. 
That's the plan. We can do video stuff, like collab stuff, virtually anyway, you know? Um, but it might even be easier to do a Sims collab virtually because we each have our own PCs that way, you know? Um, but I don't usually film stuff when my friends come in town or when I go there, just because it's nice to hang out, you know? Okay, good morning, 4 a.m., I guess. What was I gonna work on? Maybe you could finish that painting and then go meditate some more. <laughs> there you go. You've decided to restart your Animal Crossing Island? Oh my god. Am I planning on using the names on the list for other LPs as well so they all get used? Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, because first of all, I can't be randomizing names for every name I ever use ever again. And there's like 1500 names. I would never get through them all. It's not even worth trying. Truly, it's not even worth trying. And the people that suggested them, they knew that it was going to be a suggestion and randomly selected, you know? Um, and they suggested on purpose for the baby challenge, so... Um, you got my letter in the mail! Oh, yay! That's really exciting, Rosa. How fun is that? Um, how fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. They're all sent now, so um, they should be coming soon. I guess it's hard to say, depending on where you all are, like if you're maybe in, you know, Australia, it'll probably take a little bit longer, unfortunately, you know, stuff like that, but... Um, they are, in fact, all on their way at this point. Okay, you, I really need you to hurry up and give birth. Yeah, I agree. I think the names being by chance kind of makes it better. Because I randomize the name, and we don't really know what's going to happen until it happens. And it's, like, oftentimes very chaotic, which is kind of fun for us, I feel like. <laughs> um, anyway, Miss Beasley, Brandy, for time, Latina, thank you for the subs. Yeah, it's pretty amusing. We, especially because sometimes they like, so for example, we had twins a while ago and you won't believe this. So I had twins, right? And we na randomized two names separately from completely different parts of the list out of like a thousand name suggestions. We randomized Taco Bell and then Starbucks. And it's not like the list is full of restaurant names. Like it's not like that's a common, it was a like, complete chance but how funny that like out of nowhere <laughs> we had these two very similar names randomized for um for like twins you know um can i show the spreadsheet yeah Abba, i'm going to i haven't had time to set it up um to a place that i can share publicly yet but i will i will i need to like adjust some things first um, as in like, I need to go through it again and make sure that people, cause like some people put their like full name and if they put their full name, I'm going to remove their last name and it's just hard to see it. So I, I just, before I shared the link of the spreadsheet, I would like to go through and like remove people's surnames just in case. Cause I don't think that's a good idea to name it for real after someone completely, you know, <laughs> we can use your first names, but, um, it needs some polishing just to be safe. Right. Feed the cow plant. I already did tab. Don't worry. I'm three steps ahead of you. I already fed the cow plant. Don't worry. All right, let's get a bath from you. I want to triple speed till the baby comes. Uh-oh, Poutine is showing signs of growing old. My rat's gonna die of old age again. That's no good. That's no good. What the heck? She froze for a sec. That's no good either. Save reminder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Yes, oh my god, and then we had, um, that's a funny one too, we had a baby with Daddy Winter, and I'm dead serious, the name randomly selected off that spreadsheet, absolutely no input from us, we, random number generator, it randomized John Jacob Jingle as the name for Daddy Winter's baby, last name Jingle, come on. Like, what are the chances of that? It's just, it's been really fun doing the random... Uh, thing from the spreadsheet. I'll show you once we once we go into labor like right now. Yeah, there you go <laughs> Well now we can do it. <laughs> Let me send her to the hospital and I'll show you Okay, let's go see send a daycare All right, it is a boy. So the baby's name will be I closed the baby name list because I thought I wasn't gonna have another kid yet and then I did All right so, we have this big, big, big spreadsheet, right? Of like a bajillion names, all kinds of random names. And then I use this button. Number 563 will be the name of the baby. 
563 is toe. <laughs> this is the second baby we've had with a toe related name. <laughs> so there, toe. Thomas and toe are our two most recent children. Perfect. Toe. The first one was toe Cena. Was that one? Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. I need to really quickly bring over Akira so I can try for a baby, and then I'm gonna end stream, I think. Um, I was planning on getting off stream as soon as I finished having the baby. I would usually like to stream for a little bit longer, but unfortunately, I, um... I have to go pick Sasha up from the airport. Not unfortunate that Sasha's coming, but unfortunate that I have to go to the airport. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part. <laughs> Are you gonna try for a baby or not? Come here. Try for baby with Akira, come on. We need to get pregnant. Go, 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 go. God, I hate the airport, me too. I'm getting really anxious, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm trying so hard to be like so brave right now, but I'm not brave. I'm gonna be fine, I can do it. I'll be fine. Ah, okay. <laughs> Babsilla! Maddie, thank you for the subs! Anyway. So you don't have to go inside. Do you know what though, Klaus? I might- When I pick up Steph, I might go- I might park and then go inside to meet her, because she's coming internationally, and I'm nervous about being able to get in contact with her, um, and stuff. Uh, so just to make it easier for her, I might go try and park and wait for Steph inside. I'm gonna make Steph- or make Sasha come out and meet my- meet me. Like, by the baggage claim. But I might park and, and meet Steph inside. <laughs> um, just because I feel like it might be a little bit easier for her with her first time coming and stuff. Um, alright, let's take a pregnancy test. Shall we? Pregnant? Yes! Okay, and we just had baby number 32. Excellent. All right, I'm feeling good. Last thing, I'm gonna... Um, so... Yeah, Rosa is still, young, still a young adult. Luckily, we've managed to keep her a young adult for a while because she doesn't age when she's pregnant, so. Um, I'm pregnant. And now Akira is dead. Nothing happened, don't worry. Don't worry, okay. Um, I need to extend the basement a little bit. Alright. I guess I should probably get... another... one of these. It's getting kind of dark in the middle, but... Oh well. <laughs> um... Set color and intensity to all candles. I don't know why it's so, like, not yellow. That's better. Okay, um, I have a picture of me and him together. This is Akira, and he was the baby daddy of number 32. Yay! What are the other graves? Oh, these were three of my children. One of them got struck by lightning and the other two aged, or the other two died from mood swings when they were aging up. Um, oh, that was 33, not 32. It's 33! Yes! But they died, so you know how when you have teens and parenthood, they can have all those mood swings and stuff? Um, they, they had mood swings, so they were like mortified as a teenager, and you won't die as a teen from that. But they died when they aged up into, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna worry about sinking the basement and maybe scooting the basement back next time we play. <laughs> it's 32, you have the spreadsheet. That one's 32? Wait, let me check. Because this was baby number 32. We just had number 32. Akira is the one we just got pregnant with. 
So we had 32. Akira's baby will be 33. The one that we're pregnant with right now will be 33. So it's, we haven't had it yet. This one is 32. He is 33. That's So I was right. This baby's number 32. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it a baby because I don't want to deal with infants right now. That can be a problem for future Simsy. And I'm going to go find someone to raid. <laughs> Sorry that I have to get off stream a little bit shorter than normal. Um, but I'm glad we could hang out and play a little bit of baby challenge this morning. It's been fun. Um, oh my goodness, I know where I'm going. Uh, my dear, dear, dear friend, Candidly Kayla, is playing Stardew Valley today, and I love Stardew Valley. I'm gonna watch this while I finish getting ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. I think I won't be able to stream again until Monday, unfortunately, chat. Um, I, I think I'm not gonna be able to stream again until Monday with everything going on, um, because my friends are gonna be here this week. So I'm really sorry about the timing of that one. Um, but I should be live again on Monday. So have a great rest of your week. Um, I pre-recorded YouTube videos, so I'll have them going up on my YouTube channel all week, um, but I won't be able to stream too, too much. Um, so go say hi to Kayla for me and I will see you all later, okay? Have a great night. I'll probably post some pictures with Sasha and Steph this week, so it'll be fun. Anyway, I'll see you all in a bit, okay? Bye! <laughs> and stop streaming.